Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So today, this is a bit of an odd video, but I thought of this when I was, you know, doing my lockdown tidy up of my whole room and everything, and I just stumbled across a lot of my makeup from when I was younger. The oldest item of this is probably this, which is Bratz, Bratzifying Bronzer. That is probably the oldest thing that I have, and that was probably when I was like, maybe still in primary school. I think the most recent thing is probably like an eyebrow pencil or this foundation, but this is some makeup that I've used throughout the years and I was just reminiscing and I thought I would just share it with you guys because I don't, I don't know if anyone's done a video like this, but I thought it'd be really interesting to see what I find and um, yeah, show you guys and maybe even put it on my face. Um, I don't know how hygienic that is. <laughs> this lip gloss has been in this collection for maybe like a couple months, so it's probably not that bad. This foundation, I haven't even used that that much. So I might give this a go. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. If it's not hygienic, I'll wash it off. It's fine. And it, it's mostly powders and eyeshadows and stuff. But disclaimer, please do not use really, really, really old makeup. I'm just doing this so that you don't have to. <laughs> so I thought I would start off by, yeah, how I would normally do my makeup, I guess, then. This is probably the first ever foundation that I've ever bought. This is the Maybelline Fit Anti Shine Stick. And so it looks like this. I don't know if it's focusing properly, but the inside like circle is supposed to it looks like a nipple but it's it's supposed to be like an oil blocking kind of thing and this is the color buff beige in 130 praline i bought this because i saw claudia selesky use it for a contour and i was like that's really cool and i should have bought like a darker one for using as a cream contour but Instead, I just picked it up as a foundation because I, I thought I needed a foundation. However, I don't normally use foundation because my skin is normally like pretty even. I'd say I don't really like the feel of foundation on my face, but when I go out, out, then I do use foundation. Maybe I'll try it. Let's see. I'm just going to swatch it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's a really nice texture. It's like... It's almost like their Dream Matte Mousse foundation, I think. It's still my colour. I might actually try it on. I've got a palette here that I'm just going to use the mirror for. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try this on. I don't know if you can see, but I've got um, a few blemishes on my forehead. And so what I really like this for was because um, it was really light. It literally goes on so well. I'm pretty sure they discontinued this. But um, it goes on pretty, pretty easily. Like you'd literally just, if you couldn't tell already, I am also not a makeup artist whatsoever. And I'm also applying it like I would have done back in my, I don't even know how old I was, back when I was in my teens. I'm just applying it like it is. Like it, like I would have done. I'm pretty sure this colour isn't like, my actual colour but it's pretty close because it's got like a it's got like a neutral undertone whereas I'm quite olive skinned but I don't know if you can see <laughs> the coverage is like pretty light I'd say but um I don't even need that much coverage and it, it honestly feels like nothing I really wish they didn't discontinue this because I would buy this again I'm pretty sure because I honestly don't like the the feel of foundation um, and this feels really lightweight and then I, I would use this powder which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder there's no colour in it at all and I'd like set my foundation or like just go over my t-zone because I've got like combination skin it'd be my t-zone and uh, my nose my chin that I'd be the most oily so I I would do that as well I'm going to put my glasses on but uh, talk to you guys because otherwise I can't actually see. But um, I have a massive eyeshadow collection from when I was younger. My favourite colour was and is the colour blue. And so I thought that buying 
blue eyeshadows would be a good idea except for the fact that they're so hard to wear and <laughs> I didn't know how to do eyeshadow at all but this is an actual collection one where they do like duos I think that's pretty cool the formula is actually really really sheer like you can see it's not as opaque as you th you would think it would be but for the price of natural collection it's pretty good especially for my <laughs> my young self that that would be like one of my go-to places in boots another one that I literally pretty much have not touched is number seven's um palette of like a trio this is actually quite nice I I kind of want to go a little bit bold and see whether I can actually do a blue eyeshadow um but that is number two and then chili peppers palette of blue eyeshadows as well I actually did this um, and Snapchat to my friends when I was doing this and I was like, I'm not even sure whether it looks good, but it was worth a try. Um, these are also not that opaque, but for the price, I'm pretty sure this was like a fiver. I, I wish I could wear blue eyeshadow, but I really don't think that is a good idea. Uh, okay, next thing is my Rimmel Trio palette. This is in the shades Twilight Zone. 710 and it just comes with black this kind of gray and then a white shade i remember why i bought this i bought this because i was going to be a witch for halloween every year i'd be a witch or a cat and i used this for my i used it so well that the sponge out of the applicator has come off um i used it so well like there's literally marks in it because i i just wanted to look kind of grungy but I don't even think that looked good but luckily it was Halloween so yeah I'm pretty sure you it used to be this thing in like when I was younger when <laughs> in the 2000s when there'd be these huge collections of of makeup just from like a random brand and they would just give you loads of lip glosses and eyeshadow palettes and really random pieces of makeup to just have fun with and these are trios from that time in my life uh, where I don't even know if pl places do them anymore they used to come in like a massive box they just come like in trios and then of eyeshadows and then lip glosses and then random liners and stuff but yeah this is actually kind of wearable. Um, I'm pretty sure this pink one and this bronze one I used a lot, but again, pretty sure that they aren't very um, aren't very opaque uh, powders. But you know what? Why not try it? I'm gonna try and do like a a nice like neutral smoky eye right now, and I'm gonna use this color. This the thing is, this is pretty close to my skin colour so a lot of these shades would really like not suit me whatsoever but my 13 year old self would not know or care um so I'm just gonna swipe that over my lid oh you know what it's not too bad I don't even know if you can see this properly but it's like it's actually all right you know um it's not that bad I actually quite like that you know um, also, I am not massively f fussy about the way I do makeup. Normally, I try and do it so it's it's kind of natural and neutral, and then I go in with a colourful lipstick or a colourful eyeliner. But I'm trying to be a little bit more bold in the things that I in the, the, the things that I use. I've just swatched this and this middle colour and it's actually kind of purpley. I don't know if you can see this. Um, it's this colour here, but it's kind of purpley. I'm, I was going to put this in my crease, so let's give this a go. As usual, I am using my fingers because uh, I, <laughs> I even brought, I bought makeup brushes the other day, but I thought I would... Com I would commit to the um, the teen self who would just do eyeshadow with her fingers or a sponge applicator that comes with a kit but um, yeah 
I'm trying to see in the viewfinder whether it looks good or not. <laughs> oh gosh. It's really hard to like build up the colour in this. I'm pretty sure on camera it looks really different as well. Um, also in this collection there are no mascara ones or brushes uh, to try because that would be kind of gross to use years old mascara and I'm pretty sure that they would be dry by now but um so I'm not gonna put on any mascara for you guys I don't know if you can see that uh but it doesn't look too bad if I if I kind of like added more to it you know but I'm just gonna move on from that I don't even know if you can see this properly um it doesn't look too bad also I haven't done my eyebrows as you can tell I, oh. <laughs> but this used to be one of my favourite things to use. It, I can't even read anything on this because the writing has rubbed off. But pretty sure this is the Maybelline um, eyebrow pencil with like, it would come, <laughs> it's just a nub, it would come with like a crayon slash pencil thing. And then it would also come with like this powder shadow kind of thing to fill in your eyebrows with I used to fill in my brows a lot and it was not good I might even try and do that now actually so you can see what I used to look like but I literally I don't even think I can use this properly anymore though oh uh, yeah my eyebrows are literally so sparse that I used to have to like fill in my eyebrows so much and then I realised that eyebrow gel is actually my best friend and I started using like the Maybelline um, eyebrow gel and that works a treat and it's not even that expensive either. I haven't tried any others because I'm scared that they're not going to work as well because when I was younger I tried the um, L'Oreal one but I found that L'Oreal one was a little bit like watery. Um, they're not even, and I, you know what? I don't even care. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this end now. This is the end that I'm really scared about because I don't have a spoolie on hand at the moment to um kind of, kind of brush it through. But hopefully you guys get the idea of what I look like when I was um when I was in secondary school. This is like the ev this is like the evolution of makeup. I'm trying to hold the mirror so that you guys can kind of see, but oh god, this is going so badly. You can, if you've watched my previous video with my brother trying to do my makeup, um, you can comment down below which looks better after this after you've seen my eyebrows. Which do you think my brother did my brows better than I'm doing them right now when I don't even have a spoolie? <laughs> I'm trying makeup from my I don't know 15 year old self now uh, that's another thing actually I didn't even care about eyebrows until I don't know maybe maybe when I was 14 15 and I didn't by that time I didn't even know how to do them my sister would help me out a little bit okay they're so dark right now but um they look okay, I guess. I don't know. Let's just move on. Oh my god, they're so bold. See, this is why I stopped using that Maybelline um, thing. Because this is literally lethal. <laughs> it's so dark. Now I use this powder uh, with a brush to fill them in. And then like use a spoolie to uh, blend it all in together. And then I go in with a brow gel uh, which is tinted and that is so much better than whatever this is at the moment um but swiftly moving on oh wait i found a spoolie oh my gosh okay this is the maybelline brow precise micro pencil and it comes with a spoolie but it didn't come with the the random like powder stuff i'm just gonna try and salvage whatever whatever happened there and there you go i found a spoolie right okay i didn't even talk about this but this was such a hype this is the 24 hour color tattoo by iStudio studio maybelline 
um everything i used to buy was from maybelline because it was drugstore boots would always have an offer of like three for two and i i got three of these this i don't even know what shade this is this is pink gold and um these actually work so well i not gonna lie i still use this a little bit sometimes i use um the bronze one a lot more but if you can see that this literally stays on for so long it would be such a good base to like put underneath eyeshadow and then go on top with other colors or like build it up a little bit more or just by itself it would be so nice i remember zoella talking about this so much zoella and tanya burr man this was like at the og of youtube uh, <laughs> okay the next thing i really want to talk about are eyeliners do you ever remember uh getting these in like in magazines i used to love magazines for free makeup it was so good these would be so fun to use i used to get girl talk and top of the pops and bliss those were my favorite magazines to like get makeup from and i'm pretty sure the only reason why i buy the magazine was pretty much for the quizzes and for the makeup uh i don't know if you can see this oh the lids are so annoying but these are like duos so each one comes with two different colors my favorite to use was this one i'm pretty sure as you can see it's probably used up the most and then i did also quite like the black to like smudge in um i used to actually love the barry m cole eye pencil because it was so creamy and you could just blend it in so much however because my eyes are a little bit small and because i have oily skin and i get oily eyelids it would used to like just throughout the day like it would crease or smudge and so i stopped using the pencil eyeliner but these used to be so good barry m special edition from a magazine i'm sure it was like bliss or something and then these two came with the magazines as well and they are they just say shimmer and shade expert eye crayon duo and this one was my favorite i loved using the gold pencil it was just so cool to use i don't even know why i'm gonna i'm gonna use this now <laughs> i don't even know if you can see this properly i don't even remember how i used to use this i used to i think i used to put it like underneath my eye here but i would probably now a days put it on top as like the eyeliner on top um i don't even know if you can oh there you go i've warmed it up but they're pretty pretty good oh it's a little bit flaky though it's really really subtle i don't even know if you can see that properly i might even have to I'm gonna use the blue side and I'm gonna do it on top. You know what? We're going all out, so why not? Oh, you know what? I quite like it. I don't even know if you can see that properly. I don't. I. When you put on eyeliner, isn't it like. I always find that one side looks better than the other. Like. Oh, you can see it now. I always think that I do my eyeliner better on this side rather than this side um but <laughs> this is not looking great however if i did this seriously and properly i'm pretty sure that it would look i would be able to like make it look a little bit better than it is doing now i don't i don't have this here but uh my first ever eyeliner was like a forest green color and it used to be my favorite favorite eye eye pencil to use all the time I'm going to use this black now and it's kind of like a shimmery black and I'm going to use it on the bottom of my eyes just just because I can and I will. <laughs> I'll just put it underneath my eye like here. But this is what I used to do when I was younger. I used to put my eyeliner down here and I I would never put it on the top on my eyelid for some reason. Um and it would look so weird because I would never use mascara. I don't think I used mascara until I was in like maybe year 8 or year 9. But before that I didn't even see the point of mascara. But now I see the point of mascara because it looks a bit odd. 
you know I don't even have prominent eyelashes anyway and so it looks a lot more odd when I have a full face of makeup and I don't have mascara on but you know what that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes okay so I'm gonna go on to you maybe one of the last products and this is like the oldest oldest product ever in this collection this is like I said earlier the Bratz uh Bratzifying bronzer this came in a Bratz um box of makeup which had like loads of different coloured eyeshadows and a blusher the bronzer um and lip glosses and things but this is the only thing I kept because this is the only thing that I really really liked from it and the thing about it is it smelled so good and it still smells really nice it's like vanillary I don't even know how to describe it vanillary sweet kind of smell and it has this little how cute is that this little powder puff the ribbon is coming off uh slowly but surely and um I used to think this is so cool because because of this powder puff I'm gonna put this on my cheeks now because there's still a tiny bit left when I say tiny bit there's actually a lot left but I used to love using this it was so fun to play with I still can't believe I have it <laughs> oh god this is not hygienic wow yeah that is <laughs> that is a lot uh i don't even know how how i got away with this because right now i am i'm probably the palest i've been in a few years because because i'm not in america at summer camp but i am pretty pale and i've not been outside that much but when i was younger how did i get away with this because it's literally so dark i don't even know i uh, maybe i just put too much on but that's a lot i'm going in with a hand-me-down brush from probably something like i found from my mum's drawers or something but this is a this is the brush i'm using i'm just gonna try and blend this through wow this is interesting i don't even think when i was younger that i knew how to contour or bronze i don't i don't even think i knew what the word bronze meant uh but i have sort of salvaged that a little bit um <laughs> you know what i'm glad that i went pretty neutral apart from the eyeliner that's it doesn't look too bad and the fact that i now know somewhat how to do my makeup it's actually okay but um yeah, I'm gonna now go in with this uh, lip gloss. When I was younger, I used to love lip gloss all the time. However, I'm not a massive fan of lip gloss anymore because it's just really, really sticky. But I'm just gonna go in with this. You know what? It's not as sticky as I remember it being. This isn't too bad. This is... This is the Burt's Bees um, lip gloss. I don't know what shade this is but it looks like this um you know what it's not too bad i would i would put on some mascara and i happily go out like this just didn't know how to like how to blend properly that's probably why why my makeup used to look so bold and out there but we all go through these stages and learn from it and we get to learn how to do it right and wrong i feel like it's like a a tip for life you have to do things wrong to know how to do things right especially with makeup i am pretty sure that the clouds have moved and everything and it's gonna keep moving and i'm sorry for the lighting changes but i am working with natural light do you think i did okay with what i had <laughs> I honestly don't know about the eyeliner but maybe I should try it and keep it as it is and go out like this <laughs> I I'm not sure if I would use these again to be honest but they were so much fun when I was younger to just like try these on especially these like really shiny colors and I used to love just all the colors even if it wouldn't suit me I would like 
love to try it on. I feel like sometimes I do shy away from bold colours when it comes to makeup, but maybe I should take hints from my younger self that I need to like try new things, go for the blue, even if it might not work, just try it and if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. <laughs> should I? Oh, one thing that I didn't pick up was this. This is a glitter gel eyeliner from Primark and it wouldn't come out pink it was it's literally like the sheerest thing but I literally haven't used this in so long maybe I should I'm gonna put this as like a little highlight this is weird to do I think it's weird to do but I'm gonna do it anyway because then the glitter will maybe look nice I don't know um you probably can't see <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look too bad. I, I keep saying this doesn't look too bad, but um, it probably looks bad. Obviously, I have learned from makeup mistakes, but I also think that it'd be really interesting to see what other makeup mistakes I could do. <laughs> is that bad? I don't know. I quite like I quite like experimenting. This is the final look, guys. I'm I I think the brows just aren't great but everything else isn't too bad because I've learned some techniques that really help out. I'm pretty sure when I was younger the techniques were not down and were not up to scratch but now I honestly think that the camera dulls this down so much. In real life I look a bit awful. <laughs> Just a little bit like my I'm pretty sure like the the underneath of my eyes because of the eyeliner make my eyes look even smaller and because I don't have mascara I can't salvage that situation. I also think that the pieces of glitter are really really big and so if there, if there were a little bit more like shimmery bits of like smaller pieces of glitter then that would have looked really cute as well for a highlighter. The contour, this, this Bratz bronzer made me look so tan like i i feel like it looks like it looks like fake tan or something the eyebrows just need some work for sure but i'm not mad about the eyeshadow however maybe i should try no no let's not try the blue for now if you do want to see me try and do blue eyeshadow Make sure you put a comment down below if you want me to do that, but I'm not sure how that would go. So this is the end of the video. I'm sorry if the lighting went weird or I went blurry at some points. I really hope that you enjoyed this as much as I have loved filming this. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot and comment down below if you have any more video suggestions or just drop a smiley face and say hi. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!